What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. I, I can't do it. We'll do it live. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I, I'll write it, and we'll do it live! One thing <laughs> after another. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on! Nelly back in the building. <laughs> So, Nelly, I'm just going to have to come out and say that uh, we, for starters, let me just say this. All, all, of these, all of these videos and all of these incidents happened years ago. Approximately how long ago did was you guys on that Puerto Rico trip and on that St. Thomas trip? So... We're going on three years, or if it's not been three years, I think it's been three years since the fucking trip. Three years, or two, two and a half, maybe. It ain't been like, they're not recent, they're old. Okay, okay, so, of course there was a lot of people that was, that was on the trip, uh, that was on both trips, would you, as well as other people that could have had seen uh, the incidents that was going on at the time on both trips, right? Well, the one, yeah, I guess somebody recorded me in St. Thomas being a foe. Like, so maybe, yeah, okay. I guess. I don't know. All right, so awesome. It was so, a on the trip. All right, so awesome. So let's, uh, let's get into it, man. So first thing first, uh, uh, Nelly, um, a couple of people is debunking the allegations that went on in Puerto Rico. So we're going to start with with that. Of course, uh, we talked about that in the previous uh, in a previous episode. But now it's is coming out that they're saying that you was the one with the knife and that you was the one was attacking, or you, not not you, you and your husband, let me put it that way, was attacking Sassy. What, what do you got to say about that? I'm going to say this, right? First of all, my husband wanted to attack her, like he would have attacked her then. So disregard that, like the bitch threw pop on him. Second of all, hell yeah, I was going to fight the she dropped the whole fucking bottle of Douce from the second floor and cut me. Once that shit happened, like, yes, we were going to fight. I, I was clear on that. There were people that were separating us. Um, she grabbed the knife. I grabbed the knife. Like, she got pushed into her room. I got pushed into my room. And the shit died down. Later on the night, um, I guess, I don't know. I was in my room. I was asleep. Um, later on in that night, I guess he was out there cleaning and the bitch threw soda on him. And then that shit sparked up a whole nother argument. The people that was traveling with us, a lot of them were Sassy's friends. So I don't care if they like, ain't nobody gonna like really come out and say the truth because th them is her friends. So, you know, it is what it is. If I'm speaking on the incident, to be honest with you, it's because it's my husband's video that's circulating you know what i'm saying outside of that like i would have stayed quiet that shit has nothing to do with me even now like i'm still not bashing the, but i ain't a liar so i'm gonna speak the truth and that's that okay that's what's up that's what's up so again you 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 said that in the in the last uh podcast that we had together that you and her was going to actually go to blows but uh, so knives did come into play. Like both oh, of y'all. Yeah, knives did come into play. She grabbed one and I grabbed one. And honestly, I'm gonna keep it a buck because the puss in a either. If people wouldn't have like separated us, we would have got down. Cause she wasn't backing down either, and neither was I. Like cut me, bitch. I don't give a fuck. Like the issue wasn't with me. And like I said in the previous interview, I don't think that she meant to cut me. She was just being a weird ass bitch because of the little dude that she brought on the trip with her. You know what I mean? Like outside of that, everything I said, I stand on it because it's the truth. Now her friends, them her friends. So of course they're gonna lie for the bitch. I don't give a fuck. I ain't got shit to prove. Like I still eat, sleep peacefully. 
I got six thousand dollars to pay my fine. I got twenty bands for a private lawyer for anybody that's talking about my husband's legal situation. Like, bitch, we not broke over here, so I don't give a fuck. I'm not the one trapped in Dubai. You know what I'm saying? Like. Whoever was weird, they started circulating all these old ass videos. I spend all my shit. That was me in fucking St. Thomas. I did get attacked by the security dude. And uh I did get loud. Like but we about to touch on that. So let's let's make it clear that the first video that was that was uh that was put out was by uh Massey Marie. And the reason, and what, what do you think the reason, let me ask you this. What do you think the reason why she dropped that video of, of Sassy Meltdown? Honestly, because I really believe that she dropped it because fucking she don't like her. Like, Tierra is the weird, she do weird shit. So, she don't like her. Thank you. No, thank you. I take it black. Like my man. All right, so we're clear that the first video uh, that was dropped by Massey Marie, that was her video. It just so happened to have your husband in the video. That was that was the focus of the video. Correct. Okay, 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 okay. So before we go over to St. Thomas, I, I just have, you know, maybe one or two more questions. Uh, my ahead. first my first question is, uh, would your husband, because there's there's been things circulating about him as well. Uh, but would you would your would your husband like to speak on uh, the situation that happened in Puerto Rico? You know, I'm going to be very honest with you. My husband um, has, like, really changed since the videos in Puerto Rico. Like, we, uh, I'm transparent, and I don't lie, so it is what it is. Like, um, once we got back from that Puerto Rico trip, we got in a really bad accident. Um, there was a fatality in the accident. Uh, we didn't hit the person. Like, we had a single man crash in the freeway. Somebody else came and hit us from behind. The person that had pulled over to help us initially on the first crash ended up getting hit and they lost their life. Um, and my husband went to jail for that uh, on manslaughter, you know. So when he got out, um, obviously, you know, mentalities changed. Uh, he's been sober ever since. And he just does not deal with negativity. You know what I'm saying? And for us, like all this shit on the media that's happening, that's like super fucking old. In his head, it's like, um, it's negative. It's not who we are. It doesn't portray, like, where we're going. Um, and he's just, like, super over it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and truth is, like, so am I. Like, I do initially, like, the part of me going on air yesterday, it was really to, dip, like, take away the attention from the old-ass video and put back the attention on, like, how can we help that weird-ass you know, it wasn't to like bash or anything. It was more like, okay, everybody's putting um, effort and like energy into something that had nothing to do with what the fuck she's going through. So let's like, not me, because I don't like her, but let's, you know, um, let's refocus, like let's redirect the focus and let's see how we can help her. You know, that was like the purpose of the, like the whole situation yesterday. Um, not to like, create extra drama not to like okay yeah but it wasn't to like I know beef or nothing because truth is like if I really want to get at her like she's from San Diego too or she grew up in San Diego too so if I ever run into you in real life like we can address that issue on some GP shit you know what I mean like I'm not an internet troll so all of that shit like it's for the birds all right no he will not so Okay, so of course that was the article that was circulating. Uh, there was a fatality. There was uh, a crash. From what I understood, it was a box truck that ran into y'all. So if that was the case, and the dude was the, the young man that lost his life that was helping you out, how did how did your husband end up being 
you know, responsible for it. Like, what happened? Because we were drinking. Oh, okay, okay. Facts. We were drinking, and according to the law, um, you know, that they charged him with that. Um, we did appeal it. We paid over 20 bands to a private lawyer, and my husband is home. Thank God for that. You know what I'm saying? But he still did his time. Like, And outside of all that, a man still lost his life, and we have that on our, like, on our conscience. Whether we were directly guilty or indirectly guilty, the bottom line is that we take full accountability for that shit. So, um, you know, like, outside of that, like, I'm not scared of the shit that happens. Like, I'm not scared of any of the repercussions that happen to me for my actions. I'm a grown-ass woman, and so is my husband. But ain't nobody about to be out here lying on our name. You know what I'm saying? Like, first, a little bit of clout. Like, we don't even need no clout. We them in real life. So, outside of that, like, bitch, go pay your fine and come home. And- Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. Tierra's ex. You you didn't that have. I had something to do with him. Yes, there there was there was oh, nothing. Hell no. Oh okay, so I did. I, I, I'm just asking. Hey, I'm I, I'm just asking. That's why I'm coming to the horse's mouth. Hell nah. I was there with my husband. Now maybe me and my husband was trying to fuck other. <laughs> yeah, like okay. what the fuck? We oh, was. Okay. I was trying to bring these bitch home. That's not a lie. Anybody that knows me in real life knows who the fuck I am. Like, I'm trill as fuck. Ain't no lies over here. So, yeah, maybe we was trying to fuck on a but a dude? Like, no. Okay. Tierra was tripping, bro. Like, she was tripping. She was making an issue about the dude as if he was, like, the best dude out there with everybody. That's why I got so irritated. Because it's like, if you would have never brought this man on the trip, like, the trip would have been lit. Because you're not, like, that fucked off. You know what I mean? But the fact that he was there had your energy and your mental space fucked off. So you started being weird. And everything's cool. For one, you're not going to influence me to be a bitch to anybody that I don't want to be a bitch to. And for two, like, I paid my way through this trip, so you're not going to micromanage my vacation. Outside of that, do you. The issue me and her had was when she dropped the bottle and cut me. At that point, once you assault me, and I said that shit yesterday. Like, I'm hot-tempered. If you know me in real life, you know that shit. I'm with the friction. So once you assault me, like, all bets and off, bitch, we gonna fight. Gotcha. You know, and it is what it is. Like, I don't want the fuck. I'm not afraid of that shit. Like, tell me who the fuck is perfect. And then go praise them. If I ain't. So we're leaving Puerto Rico. We, 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 we're on a... We 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 heading from Puerto Rico to St. Thomas. Was that around the same time? We were actually in St. Thomas first, and then we went to Puerto Rico. Okay, so that was the same trip, right? It was. We did a week in St. Thomas, and then we we flew out from St. Thomas to Puerto Rico, and then we did a week in Puerto Rico, and then uh, we flew back out to our designated hometown. Okay. Okay, so now the video is circulating of you in the video. Um, you, 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 you was on the floor kicking and screaming. You hopped up. There was, <laughs> there was a security guy. Nelly, what led up to, uh, to that incident uh, with the security guy and everything that happened afterwards? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Now hold on. What the fuck am I doing to you? Because I'm not putting my motherfucking yeah, hands on you, stupid bitch. Not one, no 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 one, no, oh, no, my God. No, no, no. oh my God! Oh my God! She no, going she to jail. She, 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 we out of here. Oh, she did. Oh, she did. Oh, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, yes, she did. 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 Yes, why are you hitting me? Um, this security just whooped her ass, y'all. Like, so why are you hitting me? 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 Why are
she's she sir, 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 she's drunk, sir, she's drunk. We ain't drunk. You can't even stand that you're afraid to cool out. I'm not hitting him. We don't even know how she is. I'm not hitting him. Yeah, he just jumped on the floor. Calm her down. Stop trying to calm her down. No, you ain't gonna calm me down. Yeah, we cannot calm her down, sir. Not once did I put my hands on my hand. Yeah, okay, you did it, but we must stop. Yes, just stop. Stop! 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 Uh, you kind of got it. Lucardis, 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 come on, come on, Lucardis, Lucardis, you get your ass down. Let's go. You get your ass down. Let's go. 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 let us go let us go that's my phone. No, that's our friend. No, yeah, no. that's our friend. No. Hey, 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 that ain't my friend. No, no. We are witnesses. We are witnesses. So, that's a lady. He literally, I just came out of my bathroom, I was wet, I was taking a shower. He literally came out the floor and tried to kiss me. I don't know who he is, and I went and I touched him. But I promise you, he literally just kissed me on my door. No, I just came out of the bathroom and wet. I was showering with my husband. I just came out of the bathroom because it was banging on my door. He said, whatever he said, okay, he put his hands on. I want to touch him back. I do want to press charges, and I do want to speak to him. She talked to the cops I said I want to speak to the fucking cops. Not once did I push him down the floor. He took a shirt off because he was fighting. Huh? He took a shirt off because he pushed me on the Do you see my face? Uh, I'm gonna tell you what I remember because I was really drunk that night. Okay, um, this is what I remember. I remember that I had went kayaking with a group. My husband had stayed behind on some drink shit. Um, I went kayaking with them. I think I flipped the kayak over and like twice, and they got irritated with me because I was super lit. So they called the cab and they sent me back to the hotel or to the resort. Um, when I got back to the resort, uh, me and my, I was, we were drunk. So me and my husband started fucking and we were in the shower and I, I don't know if we were being loud. I really don't recall much of it because it was like so hectic. Everything happened so quickly. I just remember that we were fucking in the shower. Um, can I, can I interject? Can I interject for a second? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there was stories that was saying that you and your husband was fighting and there was blood everywhere. That's why the security was called. No, the blood, there was blood. But the blood happened when I got out of the shower. Like, I slipped, the bottle broke. I think my husband tried to pick it up, and, like, he cut his hand with the glass or whatever. So that did happen. Um, but that was, like, after the fact. And the only reason that happened, the floors were, like, uh, ceramic, I think, or some shit like that. So I slipped. Everybody was drunk. The security's, like, banging. We're having sex. I'm trying to open the door. He's like, wait, hold on. Let's finish. So the security is getting irritated because he's banging on the door. So I can, we're finally done. I'm trying to put my clothes on so I can open the door. I end up slipping. So I, can, I have the bottle in my hand. Like, if you've ever been on vacation and you've been lit, you know, like, come the fuck on. So I have the bottle in my hand. I end up falling. There was glass everywhere. I guess he tried to pick some shit up. I didn't see the blood, to be honest with you. Like, he did tell me after the fact. But that was like, because I walked off and I went to go open the door. So um, as I opened the door, the security dude was very aggressive. And he was like, I guess he was angry because we didn't open. We took a while to open it. You know what I'm saying? So um, I guess he was angry and he tried to tackle me. 
from what I remember, like, I remember him, like, pushing me into the ground because he was trying to move me to get into the room. And I was, like, trying to figure out why are you even here, you know? Um, so that's when you guys caught the video, whatever weird bitch recorded that, was um, when I was on the ground or whatever. And then after that, again, yes, you put me on the ground for no fucking reason. I don't even know why you're here. So I got crazy. Um, and then that was that. I think we got kicked out. That's true. Um, I called the taxi driver that I had met earlier that day, and he set up a whole other situation for us because it was like 11 o'clock at night, you know? Um, and that- yeah, like, I'm going to tell you like this. I don't give a fuck, okay? Like, Anybody that's been on vacation, and mostly when you're in a group, we're in our 30s, shit gets lit. You know, um, if you guys see the video, I haven't really seen the video, but, like, from what I recall, like, I never put my hands on the security. If anything, I'm trying to argue with the security, like, why are you aggressive with me if I'm not even being aggressive with you? You put me on the floor type shit, you know? So um, you, so let me ask you this. So you didn't, you, you, you didn't, you didn't kind of mouth off to the, Security I didn't mouth before, it off to the security. Be, Hell yeah, mouth it off. Okay, but I'm saying be not not after you down on the floor and getting back up because yeah, we saw all of that. I'm talking about before you you kind of didn't mouth off to him. Y'all two wasn't going no, back and I forth. Opened, if you, no, I opened the door. Like if you see the video, my door's right behind me. As soon as I opened the door, he tackled me to the ground trying to get past me to get into the room. Okay, 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 and that's the and that's where we catch you on the ground kicking and screaming. That's when and- you guys catch me on the ground. Like he was angry, but again, like we was in the shower doing our thing. You know what I'm saying? So as he's banging on the door, um, we're drunk. We're not trying to open. Like we don't even know why the fuck you're in our door. We out here doing another shit. You know? So when we when I finally like we got done, um, I come like I try to come out. I slip. I fall. I open the door like he's still trying to pick up the glass in the shower. You know what I mean? I uh, open the door and like the dude literally like try to tackle me to get in the into the hotel, which I still didn't understand. Like I did call the police that night. There was a police report made. So since this shit is circulating, maybe the internet can help me find some other fucking justice because I still feel assaulted. Okay, so now now let me now let me play devil's advocate. Let me throw this at you. You you getting tackled on the floor by another man, but your husband was there. What was his reaction to? Because we seen him every we seen him leave. You know, uh, everybody speculated that he was leaving because of his background and the cops was coming. But I mean, you you being tackled by the by being tackled by another man and your husband is right there what what did your when me and my husband left together so when did you see him leave well in the video they they in the video uh it was a young lady that came back you were still arguing with the security guy of of course you know uh a young lady came into the frame Tried to back you off. Uh, of course, it didn't work. The white work. girl? No, I believe I, it was a African American female that came into the frame. Uh, the other weird, the one that took the video, because I heard the voice in the video, so it was that weird bitch, Tierra's friend. Um, Drink the coffee; it'll make you feel better. She's like Nisha or some shit like that. I don't fucking know, but she's the one that took the video because I recognized the voice. Uh, well, see, that, uh, somebody came into the frame to back you off, but then uh, what looks as though was a young man in a white shirt. So I'm, I'm thinking. Well, there was two men in a white shirt. The one that had security. It was, it was like four different men there. So okay, so are you what, sure that was my husband? Well, I can't tell. I, I wouldn't. I, I'll put it like this. I couldn't. I'm just going by what was said in the comment section. So, no, but. Me and my walked away together okay we both got kicked out of of the resort we walked away together um we were in the parking lot waiting for the police because i did call the police i got assaulted drunk or not i don't give a fuck whether i was fucked up or not like i did not put my hands on you you have no right to put your hands on me you know um so we left together and 
be, when this trip happened, like, my husband had never had contact with the police, so we're not afraid of police contact. Like, he wasn't running off. I don't think that you guys got him. Maybe you guys have then sell Tierra's little boyfriend that she brought or... Uh, All right, so, again, this was still the same, uh, same trip. God damn, y'all lit. We was lit, man. Uh, on God, like... What's up, y'all? Y'all turning up in Puerto Rico? Y'all turning up in St. Thomas? I mean, but let me ask you this, Nelly. Nelly, I gotta ask you this, man. I mean, y'all. Um, I mean, look like y'all was like, you know, like as you should. Y'all on vacation. Y'all having fun. Y'all young. Of course, you know, alcohol is gonna always uh, play a part. Alter, alter the mindset. Right, right, right. What happened? What 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 happened between you and uh you and uh uh Tierra Sassy Trucker? Like what? I mean, you, it, it, I mean, like what? The Puerto Rico trip was the was the end all be all. But y'all was cool. Y'all was lit. Y'all was. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it up back with you. Like when I met Tierra, I met her online, and I thought she was cute. And I was really trying to pop at her initially, you know? Um, and then she was like, okay, I'm not into chicks. Da, 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 da. I was like, okay. So we went on a, like, she invited me on a trip to Texas. Um, and that was my first trip that I took with her. Brought my husband with me. We, it was a few of us. We had like a fat ass Airbnb. Like, I think it was like a truckers um, event. And I don't drive trucks, but my husband used to. So like we, we all, you know what I mean? That was the first time that we traveled together. Um, after that, like, she was lit so we was like all right cool like you know we started hanging out then at the time when we did this like my husband was just my boyfriend at the time um years passed by then me and him ended up getting married she came to my wedding everything was cool um the day of my wedding on my bachelor night some shit went down i heard some shit i don't remember i was drunk passed out so but i heard some shit between her and my husband i i did it like you know i asked him he said it didn't happen I said, okay, cool. I never asked her because, to be honest, like, that's giving the situation too much light. You know what I'm saying? And if I really don't care, then what's the purpose of it? So we were still cool. Then um, we turned up for New Year. She was down here. We invited her to some event that we had in L.A. Like, shit was lit. Um, Then we did the Puerto Rico trip. So it's like, that's not my close friend. Um, but she wasn't a good associate. She was one of my little traveling buddies and shit. Um, and the Puerto Rico trip, she said she was going to bring some guy with her. We were cool. I didn't know the dude. She brought him. Um, and that was that. You know, I like, she, again, she was being weird. And we were all out there. Um, I remember one night, like, I was in the pool. And he was smoking a blunt with me. And I could see her from the second floor, like, from my peripherals. I could see her upstairs just watching us. And it's like, bro, if you want to come down here, come down here. My husband was right there. So it wasn't really, like, on no shady shit. But it, I can understand when a woman is insecure, you know, um, you going through shit in your mind. And I get that. But that's not who I am. Like, I'm not an insecure female. I love me. I love the skin that I'm in. So, you know, I'm going to get lit. I'm going to get turned up. Like, I like women, too. And me and my husband have a beautiful relationship. We're secure within our own marriage. So anything outside of that, like, bitch, come on. And if you don't want to come on, then go on. <laughs> you know? Like, it's that simple. Um, But once she crossed that boundary, like, yeah, okay, I get it. Y'all have a video of me and St. Thomas acting a motherfucking fool. I got attacked. I didn't go attacking nobody. You know? You threw a whole bottle of Douce from the second floor and you cut me, bro. Like, but you did. You're you, attacking you, me. But wait, you did mention yesterday that you you wasn't exactly sure of if that was on purpose or not. It wasn't on purpose at that point. Like you said. Um, how about a smoothie? What's in that? Smoothie's a juice drink. We want coffee, buddy. Relax. I am so tempered, like a motherfucker. You cut me. Once you cut me. All bets is off. I don't give a fuck. Like, initially, I was making excuses for you. You kept snapping on my husband at the restaurant, and I didn't check you. You see what I'm saying? You're my friend. My husband didn't check you. He pulled himself to the side, and he pulled me to the side. And he said, fuck this weird, being weird, and she's not going to micromanage us. So we left you at the restaurant with with trucking dogs. You know what I mean? When you guys got back from the restaurant, 
you through the bottle. At that point, it was like so much of your shit, that little shit that you had did that I kept letting you slide on. That it's like, all right, bitch, let's go for it. Like, I'm really over this shit. You know, once all that shit happened, um, and once we got back to California, like, it's like you have to prioritize. Like, nice did get pulled out. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, to say some wet shit. Like, she was being a weird. So, once that shit happened, um, bitch, I don't gotta, I don't need you. I'm not your little puppeteer. Like, I'm a real, like, real woman. And I got my own shit. Like, I got my own clout. So, I don't need to go based off of what you got and who you hang with. What you make me shit. So, the minute that we came home, like, bitch, you got blocked. And, and of course, uh, the accident, uh, that happened some time ago as well. Uh, but that, that was, after the trip. but yeah. that was after, after the trip. That was after the trip. Correct. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. That just happened last year. December For anybody that want to pull that shit up and try to think that they got something on us, like that shit did happen. And honestly, like. I'm going to use this time to say this, honey. Like, anybody, for, for every action, there is a reaction. You think that, you know, I only had one drink, two drinks, I can still drive myself home? Uber yourself home, honey, because we didn't hit anybody. We crashed into a median divider wall. Somebody came and hit us from behind, and somebody still lost their life, and we were in consequence of that. You know what I'm saying? So utilize, like, I grow from my mistakes utilize that time to just hey you know what like reflect on life um my heart goes out to them people i was in the passenger side like i almost lost my whole life over that shit you know what i'm saying um shit got real real fast and, and this shit can happen to anybody like you don't have to be i'm not a drunk i don't drink every day like i'm a nurse but i still did that shit you know what i'm saying so um definitely utilize like just be smart about your choices, bro. Like, that's it. This shit happened in California. Like, what about if it would have happened out there? You know, you, you think about all this shit. Like, when you go through real-life situations, you play your whole life in front of you. And that was one of the moments where um, my whole life got turned upside down in the blink of an eye. You know, one minute, I'm in a red carpet event with my husband living our best life. And the next minute, I'm in the hospital fighting for my life for three weeks in ICU. So, um, shit got real, you know, but outside of that, I am human. We all make mistakes. My husband is human. Nobody's running from the truth. Like we stand on our shit. That shit happens, you know? All right. All right. Nelly. Yes, yes, yes. Nelly. Well, thank you very much. I, I honestly really do appreciate you coming, uh, coming back on it's good it's awesome that you came in and you know spoke on it so thank you very much for that oh yeah oh day man like i again like i'm very low-key you know i don't like drama i don't need clout um we good like we sleep peacefully we eat peacefully we take lavish tri trips together like we good but i just again like all this shit is old anybody wants to help tiara i don't like her because she's weird but still, don't nobody deserve to be stuck anywhere they don't want to be. So bring the back, you know what I'm saying? And just leave us the fuck out of it. And um, I really don't care about internet trolls or none of that shit. But again, transparency, you know? So if you got a question about me and my life, ask me. Because I know better. It's my life, <laughs> you know? Big cheese got it.